Well, don't tell Ross, but I got this little ditty from Cole. Oh, oh God. I call it jerry -oaky. I'll let you guess why. Oh. It started with a sort of dinner for schmucks kind of angle. When you have someone that you love, but who is cringy. His delicious lack of awareness paired with an oafish need to be liked, delectable. The Hellraiser Clive Barker universe is so driven by irony. Which causes me pain, which gives me pleasure. That was something that made us laugh, was just like, the simplistic psychology. Your suffering will be our pleasure. If you love something, don't you, isn't that a good feeling? Our pleasure is pain. But then if you hate it, you love it again. Pain feels so good. So if it's a good feeling, don't you hate that? Because hurting is bad, which is good. Jerry, what seems to be the problem here, pal? I'm not your pal, I'm your punchline. Rick does have a sense of shame about using Jerry in this way. <laughs> All right, should probably get the tab, huh, fellas? Rick will go to Helen back to get his daughter's husband back. You love me after all. Uh, I love her. She loves you. Those credits don't transfer. But I think there are solutions that could get rid of Jerry, and Rick doesn't do those. So maybe they have the potential for friendship. Well, well, well. Table for surprise party of me. Uh, yes.